In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to calculate the lowest common multiple, or LCM, of these three numbers here. Now, just before we start, let's remind ourselves what are the prime numbers, because we're going to be using those throughout this lesson. Well, the first prime number is 2. The next one is 3. We've got 5. Then 7. 11. 13. 17. 19, etc. Now to do this method here, what we do is we write down the three numbers. So we've got 20, we've got 25, and we've got 28. And it's almost like we're going to do a division. In fact, we are. We're going to do something called repeated division. And we do it upside down. And by upside down, I mean we draw the little bus stop that you're probably used to. And what we do is we choose the first prime number that will go into any of these three values here. Well, I know that 2 will go into 20 and 28, so I'll choose 2. And 2 goes into 20 10 times. And 2 goes into 28 14 times. Now, 2 does not go into 25, so we just write 25. Draw another one of these. And again, we can use 2 again. 2 goes into 10 five times. 2 into 14 goes seven times. But 2 does not go into 25. And now we draw another one. Now, 2 does not go into any of these numbers. Neither does 3. So the next prime number we can use is 5. So 5 goes here. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 25 five times. But 5 does not go into 7, so we just write down the 7. Try another one of these. Okay, we can choose 5 again. So 5 does not go into 1, so we just write the 1. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 does not go into 7, so we just write down the 7. Now 5 will not go into any of these numbers, so we're finished with the 5. But we can choose 7 for the next number, because we've got 7 here. So 7 goes into 7 once, and we've already got these ones here, so we just pop those down there. Now once you've got 1s along the bottom, you can actually stop this process. All of the numbers down the left-hand side must be prime numbers. So if you've got a number here that is not a prime number, you have made an error. Now the lowest common multiple well, that's found by multiplying these prime numbers. So we've got 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 7, and when we do that, we get 700.